Warmer temperatures return to the state of Florida. I'm meteorologist Cindy O'Quinn with your Florida forecast. And as we're looking at things, that area of high pressure has moved on to the east of the state. And with that, we see those warm southerly winds coming up indicated by the red arrows. So that's allowing our temperatures on Saturday and Sunday to warm back to where they're supposed to be and even a little bit above normal. Now back to the west of us, though. So we are looking at a cold front and that's going to start to approach. But notice the system is actually going to stall out right across the Georgia Florida line as we're getting into Sunday. And then we'll watch it sort of lift back up to the north as a warm front. But as it does, then we'll start to see that whole system pushing towards the state of Florida. That's going to bring some scattered rain showers to uh, the northern part of the state in the panhandle. On Monday, we'll see a few other scattered showers in the northern part of the state on Sunday late in the afternoon. And then that cold front is going to bring through some more cooler temperatures. But ahead of it, it is nice and warm. Saturday afternoon, we're looking at highs in the upper 70s to low 80s statewide. The coolest spot will be Panama City at 72 degrees. And then looking into Sunday morning, upper 50s and then mainly 60s across much of the state. Miami, 67 degrees, and we saw temperatures that last week. That was your high. Now, as you're looking into Sunday afternoon, more 80s across the state all the way up to Tallahassee. Even Pensacola around 77 and Jacksonville 81. But we do have some news to talk to about that colder temperatures. Now this weekend, warm. The subtropical jet stream is coming across and that's bringing us that subtly warm air. But watch what happens as we go through the weekend. We stay warm even into early next week. Then you notice this little sort of trough digging out in the jet stream. Watch what happens as we move it forward towards Wednesday. They say those cooler temperatures diving down to the central sections of the state, and that means more chilly air returning. And we're going to be looking at below normal highs again by late Wednesday into Thursday.